डॉक्टर चरणजीत मैं आपको बता दूं कल जो मूक्स की बात शर्मा जी कर रहे थे एलएनआईपी ग्वालियर में तो शर्मा जी ने तो आप लोगों को सिर्फ थेरी थेरी पढ़ाई लेकिन मैं आप सभी की जानकारी के लिए बता दूं डॉक्टर चरणजीत इज वन और आई वुड से ही इज द फर्स्ट टू इंट्रोड्यूस मूक्स ऑन स्वयं प्लेटफॉर्म एज फार एज फिजिकल एजुकेशन इज कंसर्न अभी भी अगर आप स्वयं के प्लेटफॉर्म पर देखेंगे तो फिटनेस मैनेजमेंट का जो कोर्स है आई सपोज चरण जी सर फिटनेस मैनेजमेंट है जो स्वयं पे आपका yes. कोर्स है यस सर यस सर इट इज अबाउट टू बी स्टार्टेड या इट इज ऑन स्वयं प्लेटफॉर्म बट वट एवर ही वॉज टीचिंग ही हैज प्रैक्टिस इट एंड इवन आई पर्सनली आई एम आई वॉज वेरी इन्फ्लुएंस्ड बाय हिज वर्क बिकॉज इनिशिएट करना नई चीजों में वो एक बहुत बड़ा टास्क होता है क्योंकि मैंने तो एक सिंपल एक मॉड्यूल बनाया था मूक का अर्पित कोर्स के लिए तो इट इज वेरी एनर्जी कंज्यूमिंग स्पेशली उसका कंटेंट लिखना उनकी क्वेरीज को टैकल करना दिस इज आई मीन ऑफरिंग कोर्स इज इजी पर ऑफरिंग इट सक्सेसफुली दैट इज अ चैलेंज सो ही इज डूइंग वेरी वेल इन दिस रिगार्ड एंड आई कैन से दैट हिज एक्सपीरियंस विल बी फ्रूटफुल फॉर यू so dear participant today we have uh, dr charajit with us uh, i welcome you on the behalf of human resource development center and on the behalf of all participant and my personal behalf welcome you sir over to you please go ahead and uh, uh, one thing uh, dr charanjit aapke uh, paas ppt aap show kar lenge khud hi apni ne aap kar dijiye aap अच्छा मैं एक रिक्वेस्ट है जी मैडम पूनम मैं आपको पीपीटी शेयर कर दूं आप वहां से शेयर कर देना मैडम पूनम या शिखा पूनम बोल रहे हैं आप या शिखा बोल रहे हैं ठीक <laughs> है मैडम पूनम मैं आपको भेज रहा हूं उस पे आपके व्हाट्सएप पे तो आप प्लीज शेयर कर देना मैडम ज्यादातर मोबाइल से कर रहे हैं ये लोग ना मोस्ट ऑफ देम आर ज्वाइनिंग थ्रू मोबाइल तो आप ही कर लो कोई ऐसा इश्यू नहीं है एक सेशन है मतलब ऐसा रेयर ही होगा दिस पर्टिकुलर सेशन मैंने आपको व्हाट्सएप कर दिया है ओके थैंक यू एक्चुअली मेरे कुछ पैरल असाइनमेंट चल रहे होते हैं यूनिवर्सिटी में तो एज ए डायरेक्टर स्पोर्ट्स एंड एंड एज ए चेयरपर्सन तो इसलिए अदरवाइज मुझे बैठना पड़ेगा सारा टाइम पे यहाँ पे तो इसलिए मैंने मैडम पूनम को रिक्वेस्ट किया कि आप कर लो शेयर योगेश जी ये हाउ मेनी पार्टिसिपेंट्स आर देयर देयर आर 26 पार्टिसिपेंट लेट मी गिव अ मैसेज टू ऑल द पार्टिसिपेंट ऑन ग्रुप हम्म हम्म और आपके मणिपुर से भी पार्टिसिपेंट है ये डीएम यूनिवर्सिटी से ओके ओके ठीक है uh as you have forwarded me uh, and i have already circulated uh, that invitation to uh, some of the scholars also actually what happened we extended this date uh, by one week 
just because we were having uh, receiving less uh, number of responses i suppose on 19 responses were there but this time overall 26 responses are there mm-hmm. <coughs> uh madam poonam aapko mil gayi ppt <laughs> जी 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 प्लीज गो एड सर थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच डॉक्टर योगेश वेलकम सर दो इट इज रिफ्रेशर कोर्स इन फिजिकल एजुकेशन एंड स्पोर्ट साइंस अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट द सब्जेक्ट कंटेंट आई एम टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू गिव अ टॉपिक lecture on the topic sports movement in manipur so how the sports a movement has been created and initiated in manipur so let me highlight some of the information which i have uh, gathered for this particular session so my topic is sports movement in manipur so <coughs> as you know that manipur is located in the one of the north eastern state of india so geographically it is uh, in the uh, periphery of the of the nation and many of the students many of the the uh, people one uh, who doesn't know where the manipur uh, is but in the field of sports there everyone knows that the what are the capability of the manipuris so uh, let me start the presentation manipur the jewel of india as described by the pandit jawaharlal nehru is situated in the north east corner of india the state boundary here 352 international boundary with myanmar in the east and surrounded by the state like assam mizoram nagaland in the west south and north side respectively and one of the town which is called more is a border town located in the indo myanmar border it is one of the asian highway so called ah1 and play a very important role in connection with the indo myanmar uh, friendship really time in in memorial Manipur has been an integral part of the the Manipur's has a very a unique and long history of uh, sports despite its uh, small size and population Manipur has a rich tradition of games and sports Manipur has produced so far many national and international uh, winners Manipur's achievement in games and sports are largely due to the legacy left by our ancestor and indigenous games like sagol kangzai means uh, the origin of the polo the modern polo then kang and mukna is one type of uh, wrestling and mukna kangzai one type of hockey and ubi lagpi is a uh, as uh, 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 a uh, game which is similar with the rugby and hyang tanaba means the uh, the game which is quite similar with the canoeing and kayaking so these are some of the uh, indigenous game 
Besides, we have the Saritsara Thangta, and it is one of the famous martial art game, have made great contribution to adopting the modern games and sports. So the creation of this modern game is, we have just giving a con uh, tribute to the Maharaja Sar Surchan Singh, which is uh, one of the Knight Commander Star of India, which, is, which was given by the British colonial and commander of British Empire, known as the father of modern game. He was one of the who took the major initiative to introduce modern games and sports in Manipur. So next li uh, si slide, please. So with this, with this historical background, we are coming to the growth of sports in Manipur. In the mid 1950s, the Manipur government established a sports wing in the education department and later in 1958, a select group of Manipur schools took part in the national games held in Delhi. And after that, in 1970, there was a huge change in the development and improvement of sports in Manipur. And various sports organizations at the state level have coming up within a short period of time with their affiliation at the national level sports federation. And after that, the government of Manipur organized all India school games autumn and in 1972 and all India school game winter in the 1975 at Infal. The sports movement at the university level has been a decisive turn around with the participation of Manipur colleges in the annual Gauti University Sports Meet. Before the establishment of Manipur University, the colleges of the participants of the different colleges of Manipur were participated in the Gauti University Sports Festival since 1955, prior to the foundation of Manipur University in 1980. Distinguished athletes from Manipur represented Gauhati University in various All India Inter University tournaments organized under the aegis of Association of Indian University. In addition, the Manipur Sports Movement Committee uh, appeared, and the main vision of the Sports uh, Movement Committee is to reserve the land of the Kumanala Park Sports Complex, where the sports complex of Manipur is established in the time of national game and the formulation of sports policy and uh, to form the state sports council and after that the directorate of sports and physical education and youth services so called spies was established in 1980 and thus on the may 26 1980 the spy office was coming off from the directorate of education Following the split of SPY, the current nomenclature of Manipur, that is the Directorate of Youth Affairs and Sports, was renamed in the year 1985. Then, next slide, please. Then, Olympic movement. How the Olympic movement come up in Manipur? The Olympic movement also took root in Manipur with the formation of the Manipur Olympic Association in late 1947 as the umbrella body of the sports in Manipur the Manipur State Olympic game were held from 1947 to 1954 at the time of the MOA was formed the Manipur Sports Association so-called MSA was also formed although the two associations were formed in different ways their goals and objective remain the same so the men goal of the board the association was to develop the sports in Manipur. In addition, the member of the two association were also common. Thus, the body at the Manipur Sports Association at a meeting held at 1954. Then since then, Manipur Sports Association has played a large role in stepping the modern sports movement in Manipur promoting various games and sports. The Manipur Sports Association became an active supreme body and since 1955, the present name of the Manipur Olympic Games 
become as the Manipur state game under the patronage of the Manipur All Manipur Sports Association. Then Manipur participated in the Olympic Games in Assam in nineteen sixty two, which was held at Tezpur, nineteen sixty five, which was held at Naugong, and nineteen sixty six at Guwahati, and nineteen sixty seven at Silong, and nineteen seventy four again at Guwahati. Then, as per the meeting of the Manipur State Council, along with the registered state level sports association, was again revised in the January nineteen seventy seven. The revival was to remove the difficulties of the affiliating to the Indian Olympic Association for sponsoring sports person of the state to national game. Thus, the MOA Manipur Olympic Association form for the second time started functioning as an apex body of sports movement in Manipur under the registration in the year 1979. Therefore, it was affiliated to the Indian Olympic Association. Thus. Due to the aspiration of Manipur Olympic Association and remarkable performance of our athlete, both in national and international level, the fifth national game was finally hosted at Imphal successfully during 14 to 25th of February 1999. Now let me come to the turning point of sports in movement, means sports movement in Manipur. So the hosting of the fifth national game in Manipur has become a holistic event and it was a great landmark and a turning point in the sporting history of Manipur. So until the fifth national game, the infrastructure for games and sports was very poor and the sports infrastructure in Manipur developed rapidly only after the fifth national games. So the fifth national game sought world-class infrastructure and facilities versus low standard state infrastructure for all 27 event held including one of the indigenous games so called kang was demonstrated during the uh, national game and the 27 games were held the equipment used for the in accordance with the international standard the equipment is currently available for the athlete of the uh, and the, as well as the people of the state. So it is also worth mentioning that the result of the fifth national games held in Imphal in Manipur in 2099 sought a magnificent change. Manipur became the champion team by winning 112 medal, uh, that is 49 gold and 24 silver and 39 bronze medal, scoring a total point of 486. Thus. For the first time in the history of Manipur, the Manipur team won the prestigious uh, trophy, Raza Valendra Singh trophy for overall team champion. With that, as a, a commemoration for winning the trophy for the first time, the government of Manipur decided to observe the 25th February as the Players Day. In Manipuri language, it is Sanaroi Singhi Numit. In Sanaroi Singh, means players, Numit means day. So from that day, we are observing 25th February as a player's day. Till today, it has been observing. So therefore, with the national game as a platform for the sports person of Manipur, various national and international champion came out from this tiny state. So our players have excelled in various sports discipline uh, held at uh, different uh, part of war, hence Manipur has become the powerhouse of sports by producing a number of Olympians and the awardees. So let me come to the next slide that is outstanding sports person of Manipur. So there are many, many, many persons are there. Manipur has many so-called athletes and who are outstanding athletes in their respective fields. And there are countless athletes who have played for the state as well as for the international competition. What is more that there are more athletes who have won the crown not only for the state but also for the country. So due to the, the time limitation and the space limitation of this uh, presentation, it is not possible to list all the entire name with its game and event venue, but it is worth mentioning to highlight that Sri uh, 
Namai Rakpam Kunjarani Devi is the first Arjuna awardee from Manipur who won the award in the year 1990. And she has received the Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratna Award in 1996. Now it has been changed into uh, Mazadyan Chan Singh Khel Ratna Award. And the Thingbai Zem Saramacha Chanu is another uh, artistry who won the three gold medal uh, with uh, Kunjarani in 2002 Commonwealth Games. And in boxing also, it was Ngangom Dinko Singh and who won the gold medal in the 13th Asian game held at Bangkok, Thailand. And he then represented India along with the, one of the boxers, Suresh Singh, at 2000 Sydney Olympic game. And in addition, Lystrom uh, Bombela Debi, he also competed in Olympic games three times in a row in archery. So the full name of the MC Maricom is Mangte Chunaijang Maricom. So the MC stands Mangte Chunaijang. Mangte Chunaijang Maricom won the bronze medal in boxing at the 2012 London Olympic. And she is also a five times champion in boxing arena. Uh, to that, Manipur has, uh, uh, till that, uh, Manipur has produced 19 Olympian at various event and there are still many athletes who sign in their field having received the prestigious award from the government of India with 20 Arjuna awardee, 3 Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratna awardee, now renamed as Major Dhyan Chan Singh Khel Ratna award and 4 Padmasri in the field of sports, 4 Padmasri awardee and 1, <coughs> I'm sorry, <coughs> One Padma Vusan awardee in the field of sports. And finally, Sri Lystrom Ibo Machar Singh is one of the recipient of the Drona Sarza yeah. awardee in the event of boxing from this tiny state. <coughs> Sorry. So now, what is the role of the youth affairs in sports? So the role of the youth affairs in sports in Manipur is actively involved in the development of sports infrastructure implementation of sports welfare program, then implementation of physical education program, then promotion of games and sports, and to look the functioning of National Sports Academy are the, the main activities of the department. The National Sports Academy is one of the academy which is both academic and the uh, event. Uh, some of the selective events are running at the Kuman Lampak Sports Complex. The sports policy was adopted in 1992 and was amended again in 2003. So where the youth policy was approved by the government in 2011 and this policy addresses various social protection program for young people. In addition, the youth affairs and sports department implements a training programs called regular coaching center, so-called RCC to provide the non-residential training for players of different age group and uh, that is from the grassroots to the international uh, level using the latest technology as well as systematic and scientific way of coaching under the guidance of expert and trained coaches of the department since 2002. So in the 25 discipline, uh, it is of six months, that is from April to September, and another session is from October to Mar March throughout the year. So now let me come to the background of National Sports Academy. Next slide, please. Uh, the, the National Sports Academy is an English medium co-educational school funded by, uh, founded in 2007 by the Prime Minister of India under the Ministry of Donor development of not is reason donor government of india the main goal of the creation of the nsa in infa is to uncover the in uh, the the hidden talent of the young people of the north east and to prepare them through scientific training at the academy in order to achieve success in both national and international arena 
and it aims to prepare world class uh, athletes in their respective disciplines thus in the academy along with the general educational um, practice sports training are carried out with the uh, train and the specialized coaches thus taking into account the anatomical and the physical structure as well as the performance of the athlete six different discipline have been allocated for the purpose uh, proposed nsa so including archery boxing judo taekwondo wrestling and weight lifting these are the event which is carried out under the national sports academy so weight lifting was introduced after the uh, grade after the class 8 this is up to uh, after reaching the age of uh, 13 so this is the the about the nsa and let me come to the contribution of sports authority of india so one of the uh, regional center of uh, sports authority of india is in the manipur so what are the contribution of that so this is also uh, one of the turning point uh, of the the manipuri uh, sports arena after the inception of the sports authority of india in manipur the sports authority of india the regional center so called sai rc uh, for the national or the north east region was tavlis at tagel imphal in the year 1986 so the main goal of the center is to provide the standard and recognized sports equipment for training camp together with the introduction of various diploma courses to enable them to excel in international competition and bring laurel to the country the sai has many schemes for the promotion of sports among the various schemes so some of the important schemes were or are national sports talent contest so called nstc scheme and the sports project development scheme spda and special territorial scheme sag and army sports company schemes absc and the sports science research scholarship scheme etc so under these schemes many uh, uh, manipur's young player were recruited in various discipline not only uh, not only are they given the appropriate training and coaching but they are also given the opportunity to study at various schools at the adopted school of sai therefore this provided a mega sports room for grooming the young athlete in a more systematic way so many of sai products are active in various respective fields in major domestic and international tournament and as a result they are offer various what is job opportunity to the central services like indian army navy uh, indian railway and the paramilitaries as well as the companies of various uh, reputation so even myself also the one uh, one of the uh, inmate the ex student of sports authority of india uh, in the event of football i was in the uh, sai center adopted school of uh, uh, at nagaland so in to continue to recognize the achievement and the encouragement of the state particularly the sports person the establishment of the national sports university in manipur was included in the 100 days nda government program and the the proposal to set up the national sports university in manipur was officially announced by the arun jetli honorable finance minister in the budget address uh, during the 2014 to uh, 15 session so let me come to the struggle of manipur at national game so now we are coming to the national game uh, please change the slide please next slide please so again next again next uh, yes so here is the struggle of the status of the the mani manipur is player in the national game so according to the available national game records the manipur has started participating in the national games since its 
Delhi version that is uh, that was held in the year 1985. Since then, Manipur has ended a medal making uh, it a big name in the history of national game. So, thus the performance of the performance status of the Manipur team at national uh, game is highlighted and uh, discussed here with this slide. So, first national game was held at Delhi 1985. The position was fourth position. The total was uh, total uh, medal was uh, ten, and the the second edition national game was held at Kerala 1987, and the position was fourteen. Again, third national game was held at Maharashtra in the year 1994. Again, it was uh, the position was ninth. Then fourth national game, uh, which was held at Karnataka 1997. Again, ninth position and fifth national game, which was held at Imphal 1999. It was first position, gold 49, silver 24, and bronze 39. Altogether, 112 medals. And again, it was renamed as 31st national game, which was held at Punjab 2001. So, after the fifth national game, the third, the national, the edition of the national game has changed from 5th to 31st in the national game which was held at Punjab in the year 2001 because the uh, the the original the starting venue of the national game was the Punjab so the government of the Punjab uh, think that they, they are thinking like the national game was again coming to their swell which was originated from the Punjab so they have started that first edition of the national game and Taking into account the the the, the sixth national game is renamed as thirty first national game uh, Punjab which, uh, in the year two thousand one and again the position of the Manipur's uh, is third place and again in the thirty two Hyderabad fourth place and the thirty third national game Assam two thousand seven second place thirty fourth national game Jharkhand second place and thirty fifth national game Kerala. Again, seven, then 36 national game, Gujarat, again, nine position. So this is the status of the, the Manipuris player in the uh, national game. So considering the above table, this table, our athletes' performance began to gain access from the national. Uh, so it is shown that from the next fifth national game only. So early on, the Manipur was very uh, poor. In terms of infrastructure, due to the lack of the proper equipment, the athlete have had a lot of hard time achieving training. So the national, the fifth national game held in Manipur was a landmark in Manipur's sports history. So athletes can make advantage of the infrastructure they have built in place, gaining a strong reputation in the uh, gaming of sports arena and rapidly increasing their performance momentum. So it is worth mentioning that many of our own athletes also represent national game from uh, service sports board control, SSCB and other state also. So this is also one of the reasons for declining our uh, overall position of the Manipur state. So many of the players, they they have played, they are playing from the other state as well as they are playing from the uh, service board. So, with this, uh, with this few slides, let me come to the uh, conclusion. So, let me conclude this presentation. So, games and sports, in, by summarizing the above uh, short slides, so games and sports are a very important topic nationwide and have become the name of Manipuri society. So, but their development has not been given sufficient emphasis. Therefore, financial support to improve the infrastructure to in international standard and advanced training of the athlete are essential for success, not only in the domestic, but also in the international states. <coughs> Sorry. So, therefore, coaches, and professional in the relevant field must also be exposed at the international circuit 
in order to provide the athlete with the advanced training and technical support they have acquired. In addition, appropriate research and development uh, of uh, the, the measures should also be initiated in order to promote the sports and pass on the skill to promising sports person so that they can do their best. Therefore, sports development is a holistic approach and all of the above aspect need to be integrated and coordinated. So in order to sign furthermore in the international arena or national arena, we have to cope up with all the stakeholders and we have to do integratedly and having a full cooperation and a coordination among the, the stakeholder. So uh, with this few slides, let me wind up here. Thank you very much. So let me show some uh, some of the two three snaps are there. So this is the 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 present. This is the the map of Manipur. Then next one is the 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 main stadium of. Next slide, please. Next is the main stadium of uh, Kumalam Park Sports Complex, where uh, athletic event, then all football. Even uh, right now, Santos Trophy is uh, going on. And last year, we have uh, Duran Cup and the uh, Indian Super League also were, were conducting in this stadium. And the next one is the hockey stadium. So this is the one of the uh, complex in the entire Southeast Asia. Uh, one of the complex where all the, the event venue is located. So thank you. Thank you very much. Over to you, sir. Sorry, guys. Okay. 